This is a slightly experimental drippy slippy mug in that it's dark clay for the base and for the handle, um, but white slip for the drippy part. And the reason for that is that this is going to be Halloween special, if it works, um, using this new bright greeny, kind of, it's a chrome green glaze, um, using the new Frit that I've got, the Frit uh, 3269 and 0.2% chrome. Um, the recipe for that is 30% Frit, 30% um, Strontium, 30% Silica, 10% Kaolin, just if you want to have a play with it. And if you don't have uh, Frit 3269, there's a similar glaze that I posted to Glazy called uh, Nuclear Meltdown, which is the same sort of principle. But um, yeah, this is just my regular white stoneware. When you're applying the slip for a drippy slip, what you want to do, well, what I want to do, is not get a perfectly even application. You don't want a band that's exactly the same. So that's what a band that's just been applied evenly looks like. And then what I do is once I've got a bit of thickness to it, I start kind of pulsing the application. So there's some bits where there's more than others. And the reason for that is that if it's completely even, um, it all can just flow down together and you don't actually get any variation in the drippiness. Which, if that's what you want, fine, but um, it looks more interesting when you get points where it runs more and points where it doesn't. for the glaze to pick out and the laser is pointing across the middle of the wheel which you could tell by lining up across the back pins so I know that if I line the handle up with that it's vertical and it points directly at the centre of the mug and I'll just put a bit more slip on so that it will squidge out the sides Hopefully, with a bright green glaze on it, that should look quite good. <laughs> 